All right, class, what I would like to show you is how to save some time with your stocks. So how to more easily import the numbers from Google Finance into your spreadsheet. So traditionally, on a spreadsheet like the one here, for this date, which most of you have already entered, we would click over to Google Finance and type it in and it would be a pretty quick process but it will still take a few minutes and the point of this is not to take time the point of this is to learn how to do it as efficiently as possible so here is a way that we can make this process a bit more efficient and I just learned this so I was not withholding important information from you you can use the Google Finance function on spreadsheets which might sound intimidating but really it's quite easy it's as simple as this I already have the date for today on here and I'm gonna go into the spot for today's price and I'm gonna type in equals and I'm gonna choose this Google Finance function now in quotes I am going to put the ticker symbol or the stock symbol of the stock that I'm checking in this case it's Apple AAPL simple as that I press enter it loads and then it gives me today's price not bad let's do that one more time after I pull down this formula to check the difference between the last time I checked my stocks and today so let's check Chevron so I'm gonna change this date to the fifth and I'm gonna type in equals and then choose Google Finance and then in quotes, I'm going to put, put in CVX, close the quote, close the parentheses, and bingo. Easy enough. I'll do it one more time. For gap equals, oops, equals, choose Google Finance, type in the ticker symbol GPS, but don't forget the quote close the parentheses, enter, and there you go. So, use that to save yourself a little bit of time, and that's how you can check your stocks more quickly. Let me know if you have questions.